all right everyone here we are with another video with the invest for tomorrow to the first time viewers and investors welcome to the channel and to all the subscribers welcome back i'll ask for return this video smash that like button to let me know you watch this video and to stay tuned on in towards the second half of the video guys right after this chart analysis i have a ticker symbol to share with you guys as well as the opportunities i mentioned this morning over at the discord and if that's something that interests you and you want to become part of you're more than welcome to join us the link is down below in the description to the discord and by joining you'll become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together to maximize opportunities through the volatility of the market and it's a community filled with smart intelligent investors and we look forward to having you join us the link is down below in the description to the discord so nndm nano dimensions it's been a while since i've talked about it and one of the most important things i see here in the chart since way back in may is the low of 542 guys 542 is key to look at as a support if it goes back towards it or breaks through it we saw it reach up to highs here of nine dollars and some change i think ten dollars is super important for the bulls to break through up here at 1050 1043 around that area for this to continue pushing higher and break away from the nine area go up to the tens and reach almost 1050 at that 1043 1045 mark i would just round that up to 1050 but right now, what's important moving forward in the much more narrow and stretched out spectrum, right? Stretched out, we saw it. And what's important here from less broader and more narrow. So the first thing is our support 645. If that gets broken through, I watch that carefully, how quickly this is moving to newer lows and pulling downwards. And if it breaks through that, the next support level we got here is 618. I'll watch and see how it does between those areas. If the bulls try to reappear and bring it back up, or if the bears are tearing this one down fairly fast. I mean, this collapsed pretty fast, so it is something to watch and pay a close attention to. After having a two day run, it's pulling back now. So, this is something that I am noticing here in the chart in the much more narrow spectrum here of things and zoomed on in. So, do keep that in mind. I mean, it could bounce back up. Or it can continue being bearish and we'll have to see if it retests these lows down here or even breaks through them now our resistance level to get started but does not signify that the bulls have gained control is 661 that's the first step to start seeing the bulls build momentum upwards but significantly the most important part is the highest point in the pre-market before the fall and that's 696 okay the bulls retried to touch it here after the bell and it got rejected and that's where the rejection started and it fell for the rest of the day so super important for the bulls to break through that turn it into a support to start reaching newer highs new resistance levels and continue this momentum that had been started for the last two days to the upside to reach newer resistance levels and continue pushing into bullish territory if you learned something new don't forget to subscribe click on the bell so you don't miss a single video that i post Share this with the friends so they can receive the insight as well. And all I ask for is three or five more minutes of your time. I have a ticker symbol to share with you guys, as well as the opportunities I mentioned this morning and how they reacted. And if you want to know what stocks I watch daily, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And we look forward to having you join us. So the ticker symbol I have to share with you guys today is one that I've talked about before. We're going to look at it in just a moment. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the opportunities I mentioned this morning over at the Discord. And if you want to gain access to the stocks I watch daily, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together through the volatility of the market. And today I managed to find two home run opportunities. And by definition for me, a home run is 20% plus or more in a single day. Now, this all happened in a matter of minutes, guys. That's something that I like to maximize as well. My time, not just my investment, but my time. How much can I make in amount of time, right? So it all happened in just minutes. So C-U-E-N was one of the ones we were watching. I-G-C and once again, N-U-R-O. We've been watching that one for the last two days. And went up nearly a thousand percent in two days and today 
it gave another nice jump of over 20% plus. Let's look at it here together. So IGCE, excuse me, no E, just IGC was actually pulling downwards, consolidated, dipped a little bit at the bell and took off giving about a 10 to 15% jump, pulled back down, giving a new low and jumped up at a highest point in just a matter of five to 10 minutes of 20% plus and 15% plus giving two opportunities that quickly. Now, throughout the rest of the day, it gave jumps of about three to 5%. Now, Neuro, which is N-U-R-O, we've been watching this one for some time. It hit a new all time high today. And we started watching this one at $30 where it was consolidating and pulling downwards, started to take off consolidated again and took off again for a highest point of 30% plus. Now this was a lot riskier in the pre-market hours, but it had its run and it pushed upwards guys. This was very interesting and phenomenal run right there. We saw it happening in the pre-market and it just took off. Now the other stock was a 15% plus opportunity and that was C U E N. And this happened in a matter of 10 to 15 minutes. We started watching it in the pre-market, started to run upwards, giving a 5 to 10% jump, pulled down and jumped up in just five minutes, a highest point of 15% plus, pulled back down, and then 30 minutes later, took off for another 15% plus. Collectively, between both opportunities, presenting itself with a 30% plus opportunity between the two jumps, but singly, each one individually was about 15% plus at their highs. So if you want to know what stocks I watch daily, you're more than welcome to join us. The link is down below in the description to the discord and we look forward to having you join us. So this is a stock that I've been talking about for some time. I've talked about it towards its bottom. It touched 553 and it started running upwards. It was in the 620, 630s and it's continued to push upwards and it's at 680 guys. If you go ahead and do the math from 550 to 680, this stock is nearly 30% up since those lows but that's not the ticker symbol we're going to add to our watch list now because this is overextending it could either consolidate or continue to run so just keep it in mind but if it goes into further weakness that could be a sign of weakness pulling back down to retest these lows or present itself as an opportunity for the long term based off analysis ratings but i just wanted to update you guys on that one it's 30 percent plus up and if you guys want to get live updates on when I see these stocks and when I'm watching them towards their bottom, you can get that access as well over at the Patreon. So the stock is PaySafe. Okay. I've talked about this one before and I'm going to continue to, especially at these levels because it touched these lows of $9 and some change, consolidated at the 10s and started to shoot back up. And now it's consolidating here. Now, if it was to pull back down, presenting itself as an even bigger opportunity, something to watch but if it consolidates and waits for the next catalyst it can actually push up to newer highs and new resistance levels so this is definitely something to keep close and watch carefully guys because the opportunities are forming and they're here right before us and even if the stocks pull back after doing your due diligence and research as an investor if you liked it at these levels you should like it even lower because when it slingshots right back up and reverses the opportunities are much larger and bigger guys so definitely do your research do your due diligence these stocks have been moving so far this one since its bottom has actually moved up a nearly 10 to 15 percent jump there could be some more room and if it pulls back down making the opportunity even bigger to add to the position and continue to grow or even start one if you haven't already as always this is not financial advice and thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.